hello guys this is Porosh today I'm going to show you how to create hit test between two object using Adobe flash uh, you, you see I have flash open here and it is flash professional creative cloud and you see there is no action skip 2 here only action skip 3 that means action skip 2 is out of date anyway to start this tutorial I will choose action skip 3 here here is my stage uh, you see my stage dimension here I will change it like by clicking here edit document properties you know I will give it the width 600 and height 600 and I will change the frame rate with 35 frame per second anyway okay yeah you see my stage now as it is a tutorial about hit between two object I have to create two object on a stage so all I will do is to draw straightly an oval you know okay I'll change the color with gray and I will delete the stroke the line sorry did the line okay this is nothing just a shape to make it work I have to convert it to a symbol to do so I have to do it by selecting it right click on the mouse convert to symbol and give it to a name I'll name it clear and I will export it for action script and I have to change the registration point I will change it into the center ok and it gives a warning a definition for the class couldn't be found blah 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 because I have not created any class so this warning message mm, let's ignore it ok so my player is created here you see on my library if I delete it it's also there okay I can bring it, bring it anytime I want okay now I'll make another object by selecting rectangle change fill color with red and also I'll tilt line color select it fully similarly convert it to a symbol name it enemy and export it for action script as well delete it from stage I have two object one is player and there is enemy now I want both this object on the stage using script okay but first I have to save this documents okay file save I'll save it on desktop okay create a folder name it name it project hit test test go inside the folder and save my FLA name it hit test okay, save it ok now you see I have a layer layer 1 and a frame here I have nothing on this stage now I'll type some script here I will rename my layer by double clicking it rename it action you can type anything like action script code script anything I type here action 
okay now i'll go inside this layer i mean i'll type script here to do so i have to do windows action you see my action panel is here shortcut you know yeah now i'll type stop this is option if you don't type stop it doesn't matter i type here this is one kind of habit you know because i don't need to type stop because i have only one frame here i don't need to stop here anyway now i will bring my player on the stage to do so i have to type bar player it's a variable called player equal to new player same spelling of player player that means this player is similar same exactly the same this player now give the player a position by typing the x stage width divided by 2 y stage dot height divided by 2 I have already positioned my player stage dot stage width divided by 2 stage dot stage height divided by 2 means when I divided this stage with 2 my player will be here in the middle of the stage okay now I have given my player a position but I haven't added it on the stage so I have to add it just type add child player save it and if I play it test movie and I can see my player on the stage that means I have imported my player anyway now I want my player move along with my mouse cursor to do so I have to type an event listener and a function and make the player move with my cursor and anyway, to do so I have to type add event listener event frame and I have to give a function name and I'll call it up update as I have created a function name I have to create a function too function update event event exactly the same spelling you see now if I type here sorry x mouse x y y and press and test movie yeah player is moving with my mouse it's working but you see my mouse cursor is showing I want to hide this cursor to do it I have to type just type dot hide yeah it's working fine very simple okay as I have been able to move my player I will import enemy on the stage so same thing variable enemy equal to 
new enemy the same enemy and the same spelling enemy enemy now to give my enemy position x and y so i want my enemy enemy grow here so enemy dot y zero dot x page dot we divided by two uh, let's change it first x then y okay. it does matter okay i have already given enemy position now i want to now i want my enemy on the stage just add child enemy my enemy should be in the middle of x position and zero in y position okay save it test it yeah you see my enemy in the zero position okay now i want my enemy coming down to my player so all i have to do is to type sorry enemy dot y plus equal to any number you can type 10 20 it will uh, it will be uh, variable of uh, you can type anything 10 20 i'll type 5 speed that means it will coming down increasing 5 okay save it test it you see enemy is coming down with 5 speed but it's out of this stage now I'm, I want my enemy back exactly the same position okay now all I have to do is to type if dot y greater than stage dot height plus dot height that means if my enemy goes greater than stage dot stage height plus enemy dot height that means my enemy this is my enemy and my enemy resistance point is here when it goes more than stage and enemy dot height that means this area like this okay and i want it to goes back exactly the same position by typing dot height sorry just copy this line and paste it that means if my enemy goes out of this stage it will go back exactly the same position as it was test it yeah yeah it's working fine okay do you see my enemy is showing up first that means starting from here i don't want it to start here i don't i just want it to start from here so just here so i have to type i have to change some code i have to change the y position you know now all i have to do is follow 
this code by typing my 0 minus dot height dot height okay and copy it and paste it here okay now let's test it you see my enemy is coming out from the stage inside the stage okay okay now I want hit hit, a, hit test class between these two object okay but you know uh, if I type hit test class here it will be a mess inside this this interframe event listener function so I want this code into somewhere else cut it make a custom function uh, custom function is like right, function name here movement I name it function name movement and paste the code back here but when I test it you see nothing happens only I have my player on a stage so because I have not execute the function so all I have to do is to copy this function name and paste it inside my update function if I test it yeah the thing is exactly the same as it was anyway now now I want these two object hit each other and happen something I mean I want something happen if this to object hit each other to do so I have to type I'll make a custom function here okay anyway let's comment it out first movement uh, sorry CSD, custom function now I'll get another custom function test function similarly exactly like this function I will create another function called to call function sorry function hit test void if I type here if enemy dot object player this is the hit test class player then something happened I want to trace that it is working to show you it is working I have to trace it first trace trace hit If it works, then it will show enemy hit player on my output panel. If I hit enemy and player, okay. Now test it. No, it's not working because I haven't taste this function here now it will definitely work save it test it yeah it's working it's working fine but it's too boring you know that every time enemy is coming down exactly the same position so I have to change the X position of the enemy I want sometime here 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 here, here. Okay, to do so I have to just change the code little bit. I want 
enemy dot x dot map dot random time stage dot stage width that means map dot random is a class I want my enemy coming come math on and random inside stage dot stage width okay test it yeah it's coming here first yeah no I have to change it a little bit the random uh, I have to uh, I have to type something zero plus math dot random which is here. that means zero is here and stage dot stage height is here zero is here stage is height is here that means it will come math dot random sometimes here sometimes here sometimes here okay now let's test it yeah second time no it's not working the hell same position I think it will not work I'll show you later on because every time it is exactly the same enemy coming down uh, to do so I have to make a timer event and do it but right now um, right now I will just I will just make something happen when it hit player okay so to do so I have to create a helper I will line this time I need stroke color uh, I will change I will stroke line with change stroke line to two and I will change the field color with green now draw something like health bar okay and uh, make it with 200 height 20 okay now convert it to a symbol symbol name it health health export it Correction script as I did before. Okay, okay. Now double click this helper, go inside and just select the fill color, convert it into another symbol, and this time change the registration point to here. Okay, name it help bar. Help bar. Okay. I don't need it to export for action script okay so I have so I have a helper here and and inside it I have a green helper I have health here and inside helper so I want this helper to decrease when enemy hit player but first I have to import it as I did before like enemy and player so delete it from stage and go back to my script and type var variable so to new Not helper, I think health. 
health this health health okay change it with health health give it a position the x is equal to mm, i want my health x position is here so x will be 118 okay 118 y position that y let's see the y position 28 28 at child Now let's delete it from the stage. Save it, test it. You see, I have my helper. Okay, I have my helper. Now I want my helper to decrease when it hit player. So go back to the script. And here I'll type when my enemy hit player. That means I have imported health dot inside helper. I have another movie clip called I didn't name it. <laughs> Give it an instant name. Ah. Huh? dot with minus equal to 5 save it test it yeah it's working something like a game okay it's working fine I told you I want my enemy comes different position from my states all I have to do is to make a timer function so that every time it creates different enemy so timer function type var timer colon timer you see it show my timer class timer also new timer timer add event listener timer event timer start function the function will be start time start time let's create timer function function sorry start time event event time or event but I have to give a time here that means I'll type 1000 that means 1000 means it's milliseconds that means one second and if I copy my enemy cut my enemy actually and uh, I have to comment it out both let me show you first okay and paste it here save it you see and nothing happens and lot of error undefined property enemy okay now the problem is this enemy this code can't recognize 
this enemy because it is inside a function you see this enemy this code can't recognize this enemy when it was outside the function it was working well so let do it let's show let me show you something different okay i'll comment it out first comment section and i will comment this too because this code this enemy is not recognized by this movement function okay comment section if i test it you see error is gone but my enemy is not coming out so i want my enemy coming down with different position so to do so i have to type dot start because i didn't start time now my enemy will coming down still not happening because you know uh, let me show you something i want my enemy and to y position is uh, let cut it out y position 100 now let's test it you see yeah you see my enemy is creating but it is not coming down and it's getting into different position that means my timer function is working but as i have commented my enemy movement so it is not moving okay i have to fix it to fix it because this enemy is not recognized by this function this custom function so i have to make this custom function recognize this enemy to do so i have to make a variable called array you know var colon array equal to new array okay copy this enemy array and push this any any push push this enemy into this array okay dot push enemy enemy and now if i test it also similar result same result but nothing happens so i have to change this function not this this one okay to do so i have to make a for loop type for for e e colon integer equal to zero e less than less than this enemy array copy it dot length e plus plus let's make another variable var current enemy equal to enemy array e okay if i type if sorry just type increase its y position enemy sorry you have to type current enemy dot y plus equal to 5 now enemy should come down okay save test it yeah it's working 
and you see every time different enemy coming down okay but the y position i have to change the y position okay so here i'll go back to the same code 0 minus dot height height now test it yeah it's coming out from the stage yeah, it's working and now I have to make my hit test work so to do so I have to create another array var clear array array new array now I will push player array into this player dot push player I will go and delete this code <coughs> and this player is recognized by this movement because my player is out of the function you see now I have to change I have to make two for loop okay for just copy this no for same var e integer e dot length e plus plus E. Another for loop for the player for just delete below codes. You see, I have to type between inside this for loop for P P dot length P. It's not working because clear array. See, clear array dot length p plus plus <laughs> a double a y. Yeah, <laughs> clear array a y a y. Anyway, player uh, player dot play, player plus plus var equal to player p exactly the same, but inside this enemy for loop. This is player for loop, and this is enemy for loop. Okay, now if I type here if current enemy dot uh, hit test object clear I want this helper decrease copy paste this this code this function will recognize this helper because helper is outside any function okay so health and I want health bar to reduce dot dot minus 5 Let's test it. Oh. Yeah, it's working fine. You see, it's working fine. And 
let us give some interactivity here. Okay. Let us destroy enemy when it hit player. Okay. Now state drive delete enemy. If I type so so all I have to do is to uh, delete enemy is to type here copy this enemy array. I have to splice this from array dot splice e one remove child what child should I remove? I should remove current enemy. Let's test it. You see? Yeah. It's working fine. Yeah. yeah every time it hit my player, it's also reducing my helper and removing it. I mean removing enemy. Okay, let's increase it. Okay. Helper help helper with class minus ten. Double it. Okay. Make it ten, not ten. Okay. Thirty. Yeah. Okay. Now. Now. Yeah. You see. You see when it comes into less than thirty. When this width is less than thirty, nothing happens. So to fix it, I have to do is to type if if help. dot width less than 30 equal to 0 yeah it's working fine Okay, but I want my player should destroy when its helper is zero. Okay, so mm, let's make another function, custom function here. Player. Player. For it. Exactly the same for loop. For the P zero P dot length P current player. If copy this code, change it zero. If helper helper the width equal to zero double equal you know and copy this player l dot splice p one remove child player 
okay and copy this custom function and paste it here to execute now test it yes my player removed you know it's like a game and it's working fine I think you have understand how to make a basic flash game I mean basic flash game hit test and I'll come back again with a series of game making tutorial next time uh, let me explain the code again so I have import player helper and I have created a timer event and we start the time timer event and variable and call, uh, I have created a variable called timer and uh, and a timer event function and I have imported my enemy inside timer event so that every one second it create a enemy and I have create interference event listener and a function and a lot of a few custom function and all the custom function is executing inside update function uh, here remove player my, my custom function is remove player here I remove my player when the helper is zero and here I have a hit test custom function and here I explain uh, here I create when the enemy hit the player the helper decreasing and enemy itself is removing and here you see when helper is zero the player also removing so it's something like a game and here I have player movement my player is moving along with my mouse cursor and I have also hide the mouse you see and next time I will make another tutorial with um, I think I will make a, a game tutorial it series there will be a series of game tutorial to make how to make a shooting game uh, if you follow this tutorial it will be easy for you to follow the next tutorial okay I think I hope you like this tutorial and I hope you subscribe subscribe me so that you can learn a little bit I'm not expert on flash but I think I can I can show you I can make you easy to understand this code okay see you guys next time bye